All right. Hello, everyone. It's a video I've been wanting to do for a little while. I had a, quite a few people ask me in regards to uh, drip irrigation and how I set it up. Now, there's quite a few ways to make a drip irrigation setup. Uh, you can buy, well, I'm not even going to go into all the details. I'm going to show you what I do 90% of the time. Uh, I like to feed each planting individually, uh, unless, you know, it's a crazy perennial bed or something where you might set up some spray heads or just a feeding hose that has preset holes already in it. Uh, what I do is I buy this here. This is uh, drip tubing. You can see right there. Okay, this comes, I believe this is a 50-foot roll. You can buy these couplers. It's a half-inch compression, I think they call it, 0.700 OD. Uh, these just slide basically on the end of the pipe and just slide a new piece of pipe into it and it kind of locks itself in. There's really nothing to tighten up. It just pops in. Uh, so we have those uh, to make connections for that. So this is the makeup of what I do. I'm just going to start at your typical one-inch poly pipe. You, you can be feeding right off of a solenoid. I typically like to have uh, drip irrigation to run on its own valve. I don't like to mix it with heads because the pressure can vary so much and it makes so many changes. Uh, so I don't do that. I like to keep it on its own zone. So right here what I've got, this is uh, similar fittings to what these are, but this is actually just designed for you to be able to hook in like a garden hose into it. And it's the compression fitting on the other end. So I basically, this is where I start right here. I have just an adapter to go to a one inch poly pipe. So we got the one inch pipe coming into here, goes through this adapter that's gonna connect you to your pipe, okay? We just slide that right in, it would just click right in. And this is basically the makeup of each of the plantings that I'd want. So I'm just gonna run our, this black hose, the half inch hose here throughout the whole bed, as close to the plants as you can get. And then from there, we get these, they're called omitters or drippers, compensating pressure, pressure compensating dripper. Okay, this one, they come in different varieties. This one outputs two gallons per hour. Okay, uh, this one here, they come in a 10 pack. This one outputs one gallon per hour. Okay, so depending on your planting's needs, uh, you can see these are actually green, the two gallons, and the, these are black. Okay, so what I do, is I actually have a little purple hand tool that you stick these things in the end of and you can just push this right into the pipe. Each of these has a sharp end on them right there that has a hole in it and then there's the end to connect the tubing to. So you just go ahead and you just pressure push this right into the pipe. It will make its own hole and seal it up tight and stick into the pipe wherever you need it along this pipe. Again, you're going to have this pipe running throughout your whole bed. And then from there, you just pop on this smaller hose, which you can get in a roll like this. Quarter inch black poly micro tubing. Okay. So this you can run to whatever lengths you need. And I just bring this, this, uh, the end of this right to the base of the plant that I'm trying to water. And, you know, again, usually I'm only just doing one or two gallon for the majority of plantings. Uh, but you can set these up and plug them in along this pipe. Okay, now you gotta, you gotta keep track of the water output, uh, you know, how much you're gonna get with your pressures and whatnot. You don't wanna go too crazy and have too many of them, but you can get a, a good amount on a single zone coming through the one inch pipe, uh, which ends up reducing down to the half inch pipe. So, um, you know, you could obviously get a lot more of the one gallon per hour than you can for the two, but you can still even stretch beyond that, they just might not output their exact, uh, you know, setting. That's between a certain pressure that they do that. Uh, so they might, you know, output a little bit less, but you're still getting water to your plants. You know, again, you can add multiple zones if you need to to get your watering. Uh, but for small irrigation, drip irrigation, if you're just doing foundation plantings, you got, you know, 20 shrubs that you want to have watered, this is what I would do. So again, we start here, We've got our poly pipe connects right in here from our valve. That's going into this. We just pop right into our black piping. I run this throughout all the bed. A lot of times you're just gonna bury it in the mulch. It's best to do this right before you mulch if you can because you can lay it right in the surface and cover it with the mulch. You can get these little metal staples to just push down into the ground, which will end up holding your tubing in place where you need it. 
And then you go ahead and pop these emitters in along the black pipe wherever you need them. Multiple ones, pop them in. And then go ahead and run your tubing, like I said right here. And when you get to the end, they actually make these same type of uh, fittings that you know you just pop off at the end and there's a cap on the end. So you can unscrew it and connect more and continue on if you want. What I usually just do, I take the end of the pipe, I fold it over twice and take some black tape, like electrical tape, and uh, wind it up and then just tape it up. So you still have a little bit there if you want to add on. It never leaks. Uh, you know, it just folds and uh, cuts off the end of the circuit. So that's pretty much it. Nothing to it. Simple, very inexpensive. Uh, I got a small project coming up. I got two of these rolls, so I have 100 feet of this. Uh, this here is 100 feet. I got 20 omitters. I, I've got a bunch in my irrigation box. I just bought these just in case. Uh, and a couple of adapters. This whole setup, I think, uh, was like 60 bucks for all this material. Very inexpensive, uh, very cheap. Maybe it was $80, uh, but very inexpensive to do. And I already have, I got a ton of these all over the place. So. But yeah, that's the, uh, how I set up an irrigation drip zone uh, when I'm doing irrigation systems, as I have uh, plenty of videos on installing, running pipe, uh, hooking up the valves and how I do all that. Uh, if you want to look at the channel, I'll have links down in the description of that. And if you want to look into it anymore, and that's it for there. All right, guys, have a good one.